Grendel? Is that? I think so. Anyway, just put it over near Exitaka. <laughs> <laughs> I have started the record. Hey. X is... Now, no one will ever know about dudes, dudes. <laughs> the less no. people that oh. know about those, the better. Guys. <laughs> what, Erica? Axis thinks that she's. Muted. Sorry, you're breaking up. X is muted. Everybody's so quiet. I need to turn everyone up. <laughs> Silliness. X can hear us now, but let's see where things go from there. Can but otherwise, you... are we all ready to get going? Let's get this yeah. started. All right. Uh, Ryan uh, is going to be running late. <laughs> <clears throat> sparks has no sparks notes this week either <laughs> um last week we went oh shit let's go get take care of that thing so we can put it back to sleep <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember the thing right it and then <laughs> we went to the castle without any problem and we're like oh shit a fox and then we beat the fox with our spells and fists <laughs> and raptors and then put Dragon Lord back to sleep. Because Dahlia knows Aquan. <laughs> and harmony and bloodshed. Did yes. I say bloodshed? <laughs> it was a lady named Fox. Not an actual fox. <laughs> What'd she say? We said if we went and beat up a fox. I, no animals were harmed in the making of last session. I know. I was. No. I was. I was being a dork. Our listeners understand. <laughs> <laughs> I. If you made it this far, you got to realize chances are pretty good that everybody just curb stomped the fox last session. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was making a dumb song reference. Now, on our way out, did we end up taking those two? What's a word for a friendly hostage? I think you got Interns. it right there. <laughs> ah, there actually is like a French word for that from like medieval times. Yeah, I don't remember. That's going to bug me, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the only thing that I can think but of is parlay. Um, so, we were taking Fox, and was that? I thought we were just taking Silk Fox. Silk Fox has been released into your custody. She's currently okay. in the brig. Uh, Beleza traded back the crystals for right. all Valuan prisoners and is left on a submarine. Right. Uh, and I, I, I foolishly did not play play out the uh, the whale submarine standoff, and I have <laughs> deeply regret over this. I thought we took the Damio guy too. Oh, well, he's going on his own somewhere. I mean, uh, I thought we had something specific. He was exiled into uh, becoming like one of the rangers inside the Dark Rift. Oh. Okay, that, you know, okay. thank you for elaborating on that, Jeff, because I felt super stupid last week when everyone was like, Katori, what should we do? And I was just like, uh, the... <laughs> sounds good, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, did not think that went out at all. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I like that solution a lot. <laughs> and now everything's happy, back and peaceful, and nothing will go wrong again. <laughs> Have you listened to the recordings of your games? 
Jeff has not been secretly building up to uh, have World War II happen later on in a sequel game. So nothing. Oh, sequel game! Okay. <laughs> that will not be happening. No. Boo. <laughs> I'm surprised we lasted this long. I'm not going to push my luck with sequels. What? <laughs> Look, Jeff, you got, like, the the seed, sowing the seeds of World War II. You've got, like, primary colored crystals. It's all right there. Your next game can just be FF7. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Your game is the sequel to my game. <laughs> we didn't even know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just imagine this world, but in a modern setting. <laughs> oh, lordy. So, are we starting back on the ship? I you guess? You can start off wherever you guys want. You could be... You're still on the ship uh, in Kitakiyushu Harbor as they uh, sweep up the... the damage and wrecked ships around you. Did, but you um, guys made it through, okay? Did, in the time before we could stop Silk, did she manage to take out any of the Valuan ship? No. <laughs> Weirdly, I, I was like doing hidden rolls on that. Because she was like expressly, it was just like a D20 and on like a uh, 12 and up a uh, a Valuan ship would have been destroyed, and she didn't manage to roll that. Oh, man. <laughs> that nail <Useless> battle. <laughs> they, uh, they scattered and then just headed for the horizon. It's probably the best thing they could have done. Good riddance. Did, were you rolling for, like, how much uh, the city was damaged? No. Okay. Just broadly, it was damaged. A lot of, like, uh, coastal buildings were hit with tidal waves, but it's nothing, like, serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who has the job of keeping an eye on her? On um, box? I mean, I guess that's true. We can't throw her in the brig and expect her to stay there. <laughs> or are we throwing her in the brig? She's a princess. Jeff said she was in the brig... I, I'm assuming you guys want her in the brig if you're like, no, no, we'll give her quarters. Like, she's in quarters. Well, we don't have Noche yeah. with magic locks. That's, yeah, you don't. I thought we had a pair, we don't have a pair of magic um, dimension handcuffs. Well, she, she can had probably, a pair on. she's like a thief person. She can probably get out of those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she could be in the brig until maybe we talk to her and be like, you know, you don't have to be in the brig. <laughs> <laughs> if you we were good definitely Does our have, brig like, some kind of safeguard around the the crystals and the magic box and everything well it's not a magic box anymore it's just a box but is friendland the mirror uh, no. yeah. <laughs> friend is out of the mirror <laughs> friend is, is yeah friendly. I wasn't sure what that meant friend uh... is happily settling back into their lovely like quarters and making tea and just very happy to not be in a mirror anymore. <laughs> Probably every after everything calmed down, Dahlia definitely like actually caught friend up to speed. <laughs> Instead of just like hurriedly panically babbling at them on our way to fight a dragon. Um and then at some point after the the conversation like had, you know, caught friend up there would have just been like a big hug. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you're safe. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> and then release uh, and then run away. <laughs> I had very little to do with it. <laughs> but uh, you're so how do we contain the spell cap? Oh, sorry. Oh, it's stupid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was, I, uh, I was just going to ask, how do we contain a spellcaster? Because I remember Dark Jack threw himself into the ocean. Is she a spellcaster or is she just like a real fancy monk? <laughs> Oh. Wait, I guess there's no like in universe way to tell. <laughs> yeah. Do you know um, magic? 
Have no. we seen her, like... <laughs> Alright. She had I magic see... items. Okay. okay. I assume those are taken oh. by the Optomans. Yeah. Alright. I'm not really oh. sure what those wound up. Oh, is, Eddie, yeah, like... is Eddie still unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> If he is, it's totally fine. Daddy's <laughs> fine and Bev's unconscious now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I At guess just heavy the... shackles and don't let her near any pins. <laughs> Have we seen her teleport? Like, she's done, like, the smoke bomb thing, but... I don't know. I is guess anybody that... a monk? We don't have any more monks, do we? No monks on the party. No. Oh, no. the party. <laughs> Uh, we don't have like the battle master fighter, which could like size up other classes. No, I can do my. Uh, we've got blood hunters. We can do our our is she evil thing. <laughs> <laughs> is she evil? <laughs> I know she dumped oh, a, a giant monstrosity hunters. of the ancient world to destroy her enemies, but I can hunters she... mark tag her. Not to break uh, our system here. How about I? I have an idea. It's not very good, and you already know what it is. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. So how about I just how about I just cast that a few times and see how many successes she gets in a row? I was gonna say does not to like overuse stuff, but does Hatori have anything that would have been able to help us identify before oh, we left? Let me find out before <laughs> probably not. <laughs> um Hattori's not well, he is a fancy boy, but he... Oh, shit, that's right. We leveled up, right? Yes. Oh, crap. Let me... No, no. <laughs> I totally forgot. You're right. I just need to do my health. That's it. You guys. It was super easy for me. I, like, went, boop, here's some extra yeah. points here. Done. Oh, wait, was, was last week the week I said that I just joined the 100 hit point club? Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, I already did it. All right. <laughs> I just Should need to level. roll a hit dice. Should all be level yeah, twelve. No. Uh, Tori doesn't have shit that like he could find her if she vanished again, but so could Castalia with Hunter's Mark and okay. Castalia is actually gonna be on the ship. I've never I played a mystic, I have no idea if they have anything cool for like learning yeah, stuff about I'm, people. I am barely a fucking mystic. I know, but you never know. There might be something first level. Uh yeah, no, I don't really have anything kid. Okay. I still have Hunter's Mark on Belisa <laughs> if we want to hunt her down. I'd say keep it up, yeah, for sure. Um. Shit. Hmm. Are they leaving peacefully? Are you able to sense that? You can tell they're leaving. <laughs> they're, they're, they're moving oh. away. Is did Dahlia get back on the ship off the whale pod? <laughs> um, probably. I assume we're kind of like regrouping tomorrow. I, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess if the whales can keep up with the ship. I think he actually went back to shore and got off on shore. Right, we were talking about him surfing the whales in. Yeah, because that was the last thing I said was him surfing the whales back into port. And then waving at them as they, like, swam away. Uh, so what do we want to do with Silk Fox? I mean, I guess now we accidentally have a political hostage. Uh, <laughs> I... Oh, that's, that's this. Is, is that Silk Fox laughing? No, she's just kind of being grouchy in the break. I assumed oh, I we were going to return her to somewhere in the Jade Empire? Question mark. I think we were trying to get an ally that wasn't going to murder every single person on Earth by awakening Agigas again. If we were attempting to the, the southernmost didn't we will need to stop for supplies and the jade empire seems like a sensible place to do that if that's where we wish to be her. yeah i was thinking like i mean that's for later 
Um, but there's that really southern place in the Jade Empire that is it mentioned where people go who who are doing expeditions for the purple place. So <laughs> I figured that would be like our last stop before starting that magic crystal yep. mission. But we got a long way to go to get there, and I don't—I right. don't—I don't, I don't think we have to worry about Silk and what she'll do until we're like offloading her somewhere, and then we maybe check her pockets. Yeah, because <laughs> she can't. Es- Jeff said that she can't escape into like the place where they want to kill her, and she can't really escape into the ocean. So yeah. She's kind of along for the ride until, I mean, e- if even if we're going to Ixitaka now, like, she could get off there, but why? <laughs> hmm. like, oop, did I just, no, nope, never mind. Um, yeah, so, like, if we go that way, then I assume she probably won't break for it. It's wherever we go after that that we have to start thinking yeah so So for the moment we don't necessarily have to decide things especially if we're just keeping her in the brig i'm gonna i'm gonna attempt to start checking things off a list so um do we have our full crew back now dahlia is spending a night on the island he is going to relax and not think about fighting anything for at least one night (laughs) (laughs) that's perfectly understandable we should probably give the crew that too and also restock we got attacked and also restock the ship. Depending on which direction we're going, we're going to need to restock. And that could take Jeff, a while. Jeff, I'm sorry. You we literally per- just switched off the map. What? How many days have we been? It was like New Year's Day when we got here, basically. It's only been like four days, three days, right? Since then? Oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I think I have it on the map. Yeah, okay. So it's been like a week. So how? Uh, I guess we don't. Oh, shit. Nobody asked Beleza how long it took to get here from Isataka. <laughs> she might not have told us, but... <laughs> um... Okay. She said something. Well... Yo, are we heading back to Ominous or at any point? I assume before we go to Antarctica, we'll oh, probably we probably... Might, we might be able to get funds. Oh, right, from our... our Store, fortress store, <laughs> and and our our one ship of the fleet. And our one ship of the fleet. <laughs> um, I mean, so all I was thinking was like, if it's only been like a week, I mean, obviously, saving the world and everything, but like we could kind of lazily make our way. <laughs> There's no huge like if we need to restock anything here was there anything like what we've got the crew we're gonna get let them party a little bit for morale i assume here in yafdoma yeah definitely um Uh, yeah what's next on the list uh paying them for january right i will open the ship sheet and take money off (laughs) if they're around gloria will apologize for the, you know, missing that payday, but it wasn't her fault. <laughs> what is the... What are we paying them, exactly? Isn't it on the sheet? Is it? Um, it's been so fucking long. So. It should be like... It, I think it Six, should say something like... Yeah, 6,750 gold. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I can... What that's... is their morale at? Uh, It says 80. Is that up to date? I believe that's up to date. You got through the dark rift without okay. taking on like anything serious. That poor dragon. Hmm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> serious. The the ship still needs repairs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we know how much? Uh, that can that even be done here? Yeah, they're able to fix it up at a slower rate. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I think that was the thing is that it was getting repaired, and that's why we we're like, ah, shit, it's still stuck there. Ah. <laughs> So it's 480 gold for repairs, but it'll take a couple extra days. That's fine. So we're here for a little bit. Yeah. So we're, at, we're still sitting pretty with a lot of gold. Woo. 
Oh, and I forgot the the wear and tear on the ship, which is like another hundred gold at this point. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're fine. Thirty-two thousand, and still some platinum. Hooray! And I have, I actually still have random items listed on the sheet, and I don't remember if we already got rid of these. I think some of them are from the Dragon Horde and the Rift. Um, maybe all of them are from the Dragon Horde and the Rift. The statues and the Red Jewel? Yeah. Yeah, those are from the Dragon Horde and the Rift. Okay, okay. Which one? I don't one? suppose anyone in Yafutoma wants any statues. <laughs> Which one was the thing that you mentioned um, we didn't understand and it seemed like something we should show to somebody? Oh, who it was. Understand? Yeah, there was a listing that said magic ring, and then I realized that was the thing you gave friend. And I never Your took friend. it off the ship. Doesn't it? What? And the, uh, the black moonstones. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah. Some people grabbed a handful of those. Yeah, I think we had eight, and I think we decided that they were in one of the holds. So I'll put those. Yeah, on the sheet. I think we were keeping them separate from the other ones. Right. Just out of paranoia. So in my notes, I have red glowing masterpiece, master jewel from Dragon Time, and then in parentheses put abs. So. <laughs> oh, okay. We <laughs> Because there was something about the description, it sounded like we could sell this, but like we could maybe sell it to somebody who knows what it is for a higher price or something. Yeah, that, yeah. Abs would be our go-to then. The statues, I guess we could offload. The statues are just sellable goods. You could sell them at a face value in the Apatoman shops. Go late. How much are they worth? So I wrote down seven fifty. That's not bad. Could we put black uh, silver fox in the black moon room because it stops the magic from happening? Oh. I don't think she's a magic user. <laughs> just, just in case we don't. I was thinking, uh, should I try that spell? Is there anything anyone would want to ask her? Yeah. Alright, um, so Gorm is in the brig and he'll just ask Slipfox, would you be willing to answer questions? Some. Would you be willing to do it under a truth spell to make sure that you're not trying to deceive us? Do I have a choice in the matter? Sorry, you broke up there. Do I have a choice in the matter? Well, you're capable of resisting it, and you're capable of just simply not saying anything. I'm not one for torture. Friend will walk in with some tea at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Who said torture? <laughs> Castalia will also show up. What the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Glory's there too. Uh, what did she say? Uh, put your tokens in the brig so we know who's there and who's not. Working on it. <laughs> Do what you must. I appreciate your cooperation. Uh, it's a DC either 15 or 16. I'd have to check. But yeah, she doesn't. She's not right. Just, yeah. Um. Go ahead. Um, what would you prefer to have us address you by? No. And Fliss is there. <laughs> Princess would be nice, though I understand if it's not the least informal thing. Fox will do. Princess, then. Um, if if we were if we were to let you have a room, would you 
not steal anything. <laughs> Like, you don't have to stay in the brig the whole time, princess. <laughs> Do you have anything worth stealing on board outside of the crystals? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't resist this true spell, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think my opportunity has passed on summoning a gigas, alas, so... I can't imagine what else you'd have. Well, then, <laughs> once we're out of port, we can set you up in a nicer place. Would you... I mean, well, the nicest... No, I guess I can't do that. Uh, we have we have rooms that you could... They're not, they're not going to be as nice as you are used to, but it's what we have. If you require additional ambiance, you are welcome to pick and choose from my collection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the interior decorating is fine. Um, so, where would you like to be dropped off? <laughs> If you leave me somewhere in the Empire, I'll be able to make my way back. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have any questions? <laughs> this wasn't on my list of things. <laughs> Can you do magic? <laughs> Dahlia's not here. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that was like one of our big things that we were just talking about. <laughs> oh yes, my crew is worried that <laughs> you're a magic user. Can you use magic? <laughs> no. I didn't think so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you prefer oolong or jasmine? <laughs> Jasmine, definitely. I'm writing Sorry, that little book. <laughs> when is your birthday? <laughs> oh my god. October 18th. Oh. <laughs> Scribble that down. <laughs> These are important um, questions. You She's mentioned something. Brown. You mentioned something last time about scrolls in relation to the Gigas. What were you talking about? A few scraps of information survived in the Imperial Archive. What did it say? Not as much as I had hoped. This that these monsters did indeed exist and that they could be controlled by the crystals. Did these scrolls offer any insight on the purple crystal specifically? Or the black one? She shakes her head through purple crystal, but then just like tilts it black one? A, a theory we are investigating. Then just shakes her head. In my head. Yeah. Uh, what is your goal with these crystals? Peace. They seem ill suited to bring that. We're trying to keep them away from the Valuans and then take them. <coughs> completely out of anyone's hands. Just like, it's really hard not to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just imagined that little breakdown <laughs> happening like right in character. Man, really? 
Not deceiving people is weird. Like, we're not used to doing that with the crystals. Usually it's like, <laughs> completely like, lying all the time about them. <laughs> I love it. It's, um, that one, and she points to Felissa, is, it's kind of her mission that we're undertaking. And where did you find a sylvite? In the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. fell from the sky. <laughs> Do you know of her people? Plus it just kind of nods along with that, like, yeah, yeah, that's where they got me. Like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> How have we not gotten this NPC accidentally murdered so far in this game? <laughs> we almost did. We, many almost. times it's been very close. <laughs> it's become very close. Luckily it is hard to kill anyone as <laughs> the DM. Uh, uh, uh. This girl was very useful on many topics, but very patchy. And it mentioned silverites in there? No great detail, just an approximation, the markings on your forehead. Mm. Um, did What's-His-Face have those? Not that Friend would know, but... Uh, Raphael? Is that his name? I think so. <gasps> oh, I'm... no, he doesn't have those. Okay. I, he could have just covered him up, but I wasn't sure if that was a detail I missed. He's just got this horrible, like, makeup blob on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it. <laughs> it's a mosquito bite. There you go. Um, no, friend just got here. <laughs> friend is still suffering mirror lag. <laughs> <laughs> Does friend sometimes talk backwards then? <laughs> I mean, technically, they're all suffering dark rift lag. Like, you lost the better part of a month to that thing. That's true. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Um, princess. I I am sorry that we had to stop your efforts a little bit. I under I understand why you're doing what you're doing. It's just this is this is the game we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we have to do. <laughs> it's That's the hardest zone of truth I've ever heard. <laughs> We're all in a game, man. We're out of our control. <laughs> wow. Oh, my foot's very much asleep. She doesn't say anything in response. She hates me. No. <laughs> Jesus. A little yes. It will pass. We're in the zone of truth. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. <laughs> well, are we satisfied? Can we set her free? Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, you guys. I didn't do any drugs or anything, I swear. <laughs> Oh, not not even the over the stuff. counter drugs. <laughs> um, if there's like ease, Fred Ow. will open the door for her. <laughs> hmm. I would be honored to give you the tour of our ship if you would like. It's quite large, very confusing. I would appreciate that.
but that's something we don't necessarily have to play out in detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friend, like, friend, his tea around. is delicious. Keeps her, yeah, keeps her in hot cups of tea, and, like, the last stop is, do you want any fancy pillows for my room? I like the ones with the tassels, but you can pick any others. <laughs> 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 just got the image of friend like bat pawing at the tassels. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but like the tour is still ongoing and everybody just has to stop. <laughs> I, just, I, gotta, I gotta do a wisdom save not to bat the tassels. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, what else is on the list? Um, what, uh, are we putting any... Do we have any more safety measures to apply to the crystals? That's on the list. I was going right. to ask yeah. Jeff, can we find a wizard in <laughs> this place who could put it on new arcane lock? Would that be possible with our connections to all the daimyos? Would they know somebody? Here's the catch. They don't have wizards here. They only have <gasps> mystics. And I don't know if mystics are able to cast arcane lock in any way. Yeah. Uh. They are. Is there a mystic who would have us uh, uh, be selling an alternative? I mean, we can do something like temporary. Then if we can't do magic stuff, then I would say pull, pulling off someone from the crew to like literally be a guard on that door at all times. That's Wait, doable. Let me hang on. I guess What's it would be two people so <laughs> some of them can sleep. Let me see if Puppy has Arcane Lock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did Gopi get a spell this level and I didn't level up correctly? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's commission Gepi to build, like, a walking vault. <laughs> I'll put a lobster for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just add spider legs to the whole ship at that point. Jesus, right? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you can't reach us. Watch us. <laughs> Wicky Wild Wild West. Yeah, I was just going <laughs> Maybe if we go back to Amanester, we can get that oh, wizard to help us. <laughs> what do I <laughs> He likes money, doesn't he? <laughs> I have a good reputation for We're him. back oh, again. Him, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No. Now, I know I said right. that we would never come back to your shop. <laughs> However. But. Can I go alone? Actually, I actually no. I'll, I'll bring Friend. Friend's never been there. Friend doesn't have a bad reputation. That's true. <laughs> Dahlia refuses to go back to that shop ever again. <laughs> the damage was too great. <laughs> um. I mean, I encourage Castelia to come. But I don't want to be next to her when she's trying to sell the love potion again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put. Uh, how many crystals do we have? Four. You're up to four. Red. All right. Red. Uh, green. Yellow. Blue. And blue crystals. Um. In the. It's still like a good box, even though it's not a magic good box now. Um, in the chest, and that's still in the magic room. Yeah. yeah. I did a search of the the mystic class for lock, and they don't seem to have anything. Mm -hmm. Um. Is anything else going in that box? Like, we used to put other valuables in there. I don't know how keen we are on doing that now. Um. Well, <laughs> I, it, it still may be a better idea than my, like, whole... It's just floating around the ship, and it appears when it's needed kind of thing, so... It, <laughs> The, if you want to say that that the dragon crystal thing is in there or gem, not crystal uh, that's fine okay. 
<laughs> and I, I wrote down two cards and one lobster <laughs> are in this room at all times. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll put a lobster in this room. <laughs> if I look through my notes and find anything else that should go in there, I'll let you know. Sure. There's my fair lobster. Yeah, it's easy to just add more stuff in there whenever you need to. Yeah. Um, Gloria will make an announcement to the to the crew, not the officers, the crew, um, wow. about. Yeah how they don't need to worry about the no talking about what happened to slick rule now because that's gonna come out probably in a month <laughs> so you know she'll she'll look at um what's her face <sighs> why can't i freaking remember her name <laughs> sanvi and be like you know sorry i know you were real excited about that but you know no worries anymore Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's just sitting on the bridge, like, like sadly patting the cat and nine tails. Maybe yeah. next time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it not? Uh, is it not a concern effective immediately? Because we could like goad someone into saying something, and she could go at them if we really want. <laughs> No. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the stipulation was that they keep their mouths shut until one of the officers ends up blowing it, and Gloria blew it, so <laughs> <laughs> it was already ineffective, but she's just making sure they knew. Um, Gloria's also making sure her, her captain quarters is locked again. It's like everybody was able to just go in and out of there when she <laughs> was in the brig. That was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the room's been tossed, but nothing seems to be missing. Yeah. Basically, everybody finds that as they go back to their own quarters. Like, the place has been, like, ransacked, but nothing is out of sight. Yeah. That teacup is so fancy. Did anybody want to buy anything that they could only get here? Oh, that's right. Is there like a oh. shop list for here? There was. Totally was. I just. I'm not sure if I wound up. Information. Yeah, there we are. We have. Uh... Hang on. Uh, we have in our mutual ship fund uh, 33,000 gold and 750 platinum so if people want cool shit there's some money to spare um I think I remember Gloria and Addy maybe discussing him getting one of the spe or one of the weapons that they were doing. Okay. We were like because it was a price thing that we were talking about, like which one was too expensive or whatever. Did do we get like uh, a we saved your country discount? <laughs> <laughs> Alas, no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I think I think I said that a plus three weapon, depending on what it was, seemed reasonable. But like the moonstone thing was probably yeah. unreasonable. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't recall what you were thinking about getting. It was a rapier, I think. I think I wanted to get a plus three rapier. What would? the damage be on that, Jeff? 1d8 plus 3? <laughs> <You> son <laughs> of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm just looking at it up real quick. I got I have my player's guide, but it's out of reach, and I am trapped under a cat. No, I'm looking at it all funny. Don't worry about... Don't, don't disturb the cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
my calculator out. Oh, it's going to be expensive. Free piers. Oh, cost. is it? Base cost times two. Oof. Oh, shit. It's the base cost. Base I was looking at something else. <laughs> so for rapier, I have it would be the plus three rapier would be five thousand. Is that correct? Yes. I don't think that's too crazy. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't either. As long as not everybody is getting one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was doing some math. I assume Dahlia's not getting anything because Dahlia doesn't use swords. Dahlia already got his. He got a plus three staff with his own funds because it was like ten <laughs> gold. Oh, yeah. Wait, I are you me? <laughs> it was super cheap. It was like fifteen gold or something like that. And he had like twenty on his sheet, thirty on his sheet. Oh, it's like, right. yes! <laughs> Jesus, I don't remember that. Holy shit. That happened like oh, several shit. sessions ago. Yeah. yeah that happened like. stats are two silver, so like, your base price is next to nothing. Yeah. yeah that's true. So he has a spiffy staff. Is um, is Gorm looking for a weapon? Well, I was also oh, going to ask if they have shields of any kind. Oh no, I was wrong. Yeah, uh, any armor. Base cost times two hundred. Dahlia's rich, guys. Dahlia has one hundred um, gold and one platinum. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> for once, he has money. <laughs> Wait, I think I, I have Electrum on my sheet. What's Electrum worth again? Oh no, God! <laughs> it's like. 1.5 gold? No, it is... It's worth 5 uh, silver. <laughs> oh. yeah. But if I'm translating it into gold... Every two Electrum is worth 1 gold? Yeah. Oh, alright then. So you have half right. as much gold as Electrum? Yeah, mm -hmm. basically. <laughs> um, but I'm still, doing, I'm still doing a little bit of math. I'll just be a second. Right. Shield is ten gold, um, so plus three shield, two thousand. That's not as bad as I thought. That's not bad at all. We could get Addy's plus three sword and Gorm's plus three shield, and just get rid of the platinum on our ship. Basically, I thought shields only ever gave you plus two on things. But uh, they can also be additional pluses. Yeah, if you search shield, it gives you shield and then plus one and plus two and plus three. It's wow. like an AC two, no matter what, and it can go up to five. So regularly. wait a minute. <laughs> if Gorm got three more AC, what would his AC be? Uh, <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> stupidly. Stupidly, I. Yeah. Well, Jesus. So like, you are equally as sure. well armored as the Tarask. <laughs> I'm so just trying dwarf to shield. everything because he I think he already had a plus three shield because really? his shield was the one well the shield was the one he found in the yellow temple that gave that was just a plus one to a normal shield. Oh okay so if the normal a shield gives plus two AC, then that means his current shield was giving him three AC. So yeah. then if you get the plus three shield you'll get Plus five. Alright, so that would just put his uh, AC to 24 if he does that. I'm just trying to confirm that because mm -hmm. it's so been so long as... since I looked at his shield. Yeah. You're not as well armed. Um, as <laughs> not quite. Um, so you said that was 2,000 gold because the shield was 10 GP? Uh, yep. All right, so uh, Gorm has an additional proposal. With his Electrum, he <laughs> has just slightly over 850 gold. Okay. He'd like to spend that, all of that, and take a little more from the ship fund in order to also get a plus three um, flail or another simple weapon that costs 10 GP. I haven't looked at them yet. One sec. Uh, so that's 1,150 of the shield that isn't covered. And... Uh, let me check flail and stuff. Flails go for 10 gold. So that would be a... Th Wait. Yeah, I, I'm looking at simple weapons that cost 10 gold is, is what I meant. He just currently oh. has a flail. Okay, uh, so that's another 2,000 then. So that's 3,150 that's not covered by your Electrum. Uh, and 7,000 for Addy. 
Wait, seven thousand? Uh, it was five thousand. Five thousand. Sorry, I was going. Okay, to play. I was like, <laughs> I'm dumb. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, yeah, I was. Uh, we were right about the shield. So if he got the plus three shield, his AC would only be twenty four. But still, it's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I can. I'm also. I wasn't super psyched about the spooky shields in the temple. <laughs> you might even try to have that mailed back or something. Okay. So mailed back. Just drop it down the hole. I'm, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. <laughs> wow, I'm fucking up with a calculator even. Uh, I just want to let you guys know. Uh, I'm but I, I don't want to ask for too much. Right I don't want to take too much of a hit out of the no, ship no, no. crew. We'll, we will be absolutely fine. I just need We're to. flush. The right button. Yeah, we're that's good. Right. Uh, All right. Yeah, sorry. What was That'd be, yeah. Whew, holy, I gotta look at simple weapons. <laughs> Alright, so we could... Sorry, Magnus. Of... Hold up, hold up. Magnus yeah, yeah. has something I've got turned out. What's up? Oh, I said I have a plus six to dex right now while I'm under the blue moon. <laughs> awesome. Um... We could get rid of all the platinum and, like, a couple hundred gold and get... Plus three shield, plus three flail, and plus three rapier. I'm fine with that. Um, seems reasonable. I'd say, like, it, it, you take it. I, like, I say, if you were going to not get something, I wouldn't get the shield. But, like, also, that's really cool that your AC is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm cool with all that. Suddenly, every NPC has fireball. <laughs> I have eliminated all of Gorm's gold outside. He has 15 gold left, and all his <laughs> electrums gone. Uh, does Stalia get anything? Um, I don't know. Can I get some? Grandma? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh... What, you, what, what would you need? Uh... He's not selling guns. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, like no. a smell gun. Oops. Ninja stars. <gasps> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, oh, oh wait. I want the sharpened pointies. Oh, my God. Darts are just five CP. You could just do that. <laughs> you get plus three darts. <laughs> Can I do that? Oh, wait, hold on. Goodness. But they'll, they'll, like, not come back, though. <laughs> yeah. You have to pick them up. I mean, yeah, you gotta pick them up. Unless they, like, fall off somewhere, and you're like, ooh. <laughs> cool. How many darts can I get reasonably? Uh, how much are they? Like, five copper? Okay. Uh, each plus three dart is ten gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> or plus three ninja star, I guess. <laughs> Hattori will offer you a crash course in throwing ninja stars. <laughs> oh, I'm down. Daddy Hattori, please teach me. <laughs> well. Wow. Um... Do we, we need to buy like food supplies for our possibly long journey back to? Oh yeah, how many days so that, is it gonna be? That comes out of like just wear and tear on the ship. You already paid that off. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. Because I was gonna be like, oh lord, yeah. <laughs> how long is it gonna be? Oh, yeah, also know. to mention, this will probably be like a fairly short short session just uh, to get you guys oh. back. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have anything too crazy planned. I was looking at the wrong session. He gets he gets martial weapons as a paladin. Duh. Okay. I'm gonna get ten ninja stars. Are you covering that, or is that coming out of the ship, G? I got it. Cool. I'm a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> Gorm needed to take out a loan. That's okay. Now you're like an ultra tank. It's our <sighs> a walking tank. I'm pretty excited. 
I gotta say. I think that's all my notes for still being in this place. Everything else is like sendings and talking to people while traveling, so. Yeah, I think uh, I think Addie might have something for you to send later. Just gotta make sure to write it out correctly. Oh my gosh, that's dumb. I have like plus 10 to darts without anything else added. <laughs> not super expensive. Uh, ooh, that's <laughs> Armor's probably gonna be expensive. Yeah. So Yeah, no I'm never mind. <laughs> I mean it's gonna but be awesome to get mine samurai fitted. armor. Friends armor is fine. Um it's better when they're big friend <laughs> so uh, I, I won't bother does anyone need to say any goodbyes to people um you don't see Dahlia for most of just chilling out here he kind of scampered off and disappeared for a little while I thought that was just for the first day he said yeah, well, he you see him. He's just, he's got other things he's doing. Okay. It's fair. <laughs> yeah, this this all starts on the, uh, the 9th of January, and by the end of it, while the ship is ready to leave, is the 15th. Okay. Atori walks Dahlia back to the ship. I'm going to roll this real quick, because I want to see what this is like. that oh plus 13 that's so stupid <laughs> well okay it's normally plus 12 but because we're here it's plus yeah 13. yeah <laughs> it's still stupid oh, it's, it's normally only plus 12 <laughs> Also, this right needs to change. It's actually 1d8 damage now. I'm surprised Ryan didn't show up. I thought he was just going to be an hour late. Probably work holding him. <laughs> holding him hostage? Oh. Yeah, I mean... It's usually... He usually gets off of work oh. after... Nine my time, and it's it just hit nine. So. I added the extra goodies, and now I have a plus fifteen to dark. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just gonna start firing them at like enemy vessels. <laughs> oh god. This very nice purple man taught me how to throw them. It's <laughs> <laughs> very nice purple man. You're funny. Anything else that anyone's up to while they're in town? <laughs> you guys want to roll on the party table? Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, a friend will roll on the party table. <laughs> I will also oh, roll. Party tower. New tower. level, new <laughs> drinking. Do 100 plus level? 100 plus level. I think we've gone to enough level, we're not going to hit, like, the worst things. That's 
big money friend. Yeah! Jesus. Nice. At least I think so. 69. <laughs> <laughs> you get I don't up. even remember what the table <laughs> is, so. <laughs> okay, so once again, uh, X has a legendary party. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's Tataka and Yafutoma best friends now. <laughs> Yeah, like he he is just awesome cultural ambassador. <laughs> Yo, X is always playing the ambassador <laughs> of friendship, and in doing so, manages to make a uh, hundred X to gold. Hey. Uh, Castalia got in on that. <gasps> drug friends! Just <laughs> <laughs> drug me. And made 26 gold. He <laughs> buys two more darts. <laughs> <laughs> Anniversary made an extra 16. Yay. Extra gold is fun. Actually, I did just think of something I've been meaning to do forever. <laughs> uh, friend has, like, an alchemist kit proficiency? Can they make poisons with that? I th is it a poison kit or an alchemy kit? An alchemist kit. I don't think like it's a poisoner's poison. kit. Okay. Are there any cool poisons here? Like, <laughs> in this weird country that people back on the rest of the world won't have resistances to. <laughs> oh, shit. I would also like to get in on that. <laughs> We've moved up from drugs to poison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting. For the scene where, like, <laughs> Castellia's trying to offer someone her cigarette thing, and someone comes in and goes, You don't want to sell your death sticks here, and then walks off. And Castellia goes, No, nah, I don't want to sell my death sticks here, and walks away. I'm just <laughs> waiting for this to happen. No, the I'm... only people who know poisonings are the ninja clans, and, like, they, they have since retreated into the countryside and probably aren't going to talk to you guys. What about Hattori? Uh, I'm checking if he has proficiency. <laughs> he does! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Can he make poison for them? <laughs> Is this the parting <laughs> gift of poison? <laughs> <laughs> just a vine. Just a vine of poison. Uh, he'll, he'll put a little bow Use on. this to slay your enemies. <laughs> Hardcore. You can if you want to. I don't think it'd be like very samurai to use poisons. Well, he's not the one using them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of toxic like herbs <laughs> that you can choose. Oh yeah. Oh, there are. There's like, like weirdo stuff they get out of the dark rift, but like that's that's ninja shit, man. Like that's just the scumbags. I super, I super wanted to get weird dark rift stuff, but everyone was afraid to touch anything, so I didn't. I I was afraid to touch things. Okay. The locals know which stuff is safe and which stuff explodes into poison spores in your face. Um, when people do see Dahlia, he seems to be collecting samples of local flora and just sticking it in his seed pouch that he has. Just Collecting seeds. <laughs> hmm. Making invasive species. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's... <laughs> wow. He's not planting anything. He is collecting. There is a difference. Yeah. Was... Locals sold me this interesting plant. They called it kudzu. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... I hate that stuff. Oh, God. I grew in my I'm backyard. 
I yeah. just thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> it was. The only poison I have is this love potion. <laughs> I was gonna say you should mix the poison with the love potion. <laughs> There's already poison in the love potion. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a while back. We I made, thought it was just water. It what is just water. It no, was no. just water, but I put poison in it. Yeah. <gasps> All right. <laughs> it, it was the, the tea remnants, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. The tea was oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Can we make poison with that? Dream <laughs> this poison? <laughs> Dream Mist literally is poison. You just make it and then have the guy drink it instead of inhale it. But like, like to... Something you could put on a weapon. <laughs> no, you have to specifically ingest it. Ah, you cup me with water. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would work. Well, before we duel, perhaps we'd be interested in this tea. <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked in Princess Bride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. uh, I didn't really have anything else, just Dahlia being Dahlia, and then Atari. Yeah, that was my only, like, possibly poisons, it was my only other thing I could think of. <laughs> Oh, uh, can I get, um, a, what is it? A uh, thief's tool. Really. Just for no reason. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're able to, you're able to find somebody that can make that stuff for you. <laughs> Won't come up later at all. Mm hmm. Don't worry about it. Let's let's get back on the ship. Let's go. <laughs> so, Hattori was walking Dahlia back to the ship. Yeah, right? Hattori walks Dahlia back to the ship. Dahlia seems really sad to be leaving. Is it because of your whales? <laughs> There's whales everywhere. I thought these ones were special, never mind. They help they helped out, but they're just whales. Different kind than there are places, but No, oh, that's not why I'm sad. I'm not I'm fine. Would you be willing to say that in nerve zone of truth? <laughs> what is it with you? Can't you just trust someone at face value? It's wise not to. When it's someone's emotions? Emotions are hectic. <laughs> I'll give you the space you need, Dahlia. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dahlia. I, I just walked in here. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> she walked away. <laughs> 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 we'll leave you to your bath. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, the star is in the background throw aggressively throwing ninja stars at a wooden board. <laughs> this is this is all taking accurately place in a hot spring. <laughs> Plus fifteen. <laughs> Don't poke Marco's eye out. Oh god. If I do, can you fix it? I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> I don't trust you. I'm not gonna say I did, but I'm just saying if it happened. Um. I can only cure blindness, so you'd have to hit both. Second shot's always better. <laughs> Epi 
episode title, How Did Marco Go Blind? <laughs> <laughs> You'll dart your eye, I said. <laughs> Errant spell? Um, but yeah, any, nothing else going on? You guys want to head out on your way? Um... can't think of anything else so I say sure go unless somebody last chance because <laughs> <laughs> we're never going to come back here probably <laughs> no <laughs> until because, the sequel um... <laughs> Gorm, will buy, Gorm will buy some books on the way out he's going to try and learn I'll just there's some, there's some random books. Actually, uh, I was thinking on the armor. Like he he wants to learn more about the building materials and the and um. so when he bought the armor, I was thinking he could maybe pick something up on the way. Like I assume he had a translator helping him buy the armor. So yeah, I was thinking no. he would. Yeah, like you're you're assigned like guides and everything you'd, you'd want from the uh, the government. Oh yay! Um, how much gold should I take off or just add it? I believe it's uh, 50 gold for a book. 50? 50. <laughs> 50? Books are apparently ex expensive. <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. You kept cutting out. Um, I'm good then. Never mind. <laughs> Bye, Bo. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, he's good. That is very expensive. I know, right? What the hell, D&D? Uh, yeah, I, in my head it was like, oh, a book, one gold, give me ten. Oh, shoot. Okay, I did just. Is expensive. I did just think of one thing. While we're um, around, are, is there any interest in like any random people f as like passengers that want to go to a land they've never heard or seen of before? Like. Oh, refilling the crew stock. Well, we Have don't we need. Lost? No, New you're, crew, you're but... still full up on crew. I'm kind of surprised. There was like random events on that in the stupid dark room, but it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we have we have everything to keep everyone healthy. We have doctors and therapists. <laughs> oh, jeez. Friend has a psychological pro dial, including everyone's birthday, like on <laughs> stock. I'm sure. Unless you want to take someone like on a three-hour tour or something. <laughs> No, um, there's there's nobody w that seems willing to come along with you guys in particular. There's there's talk of putting an expedition together to see the uh, the wider world, but they'll probably do that on their own terms. Okay, that's good enough. Hattori seems really tempted, but like there's shit to do here, and like he's just like I I'm sure we'll meet again one way or another, but now's not. Because he's, he's just, like, newly back, right? I don't know. I don't fucking... I made this dude for three sessions. I don't know what's happened to him, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> is, is his honor restored? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. It's all, all right. good. Yeah, all right. So then he's got to he's gotta hang out. Is that what the Douglas says? <laughs> yeah, just cut back to the uh, the royal palace. And there's, like, the collection of showguns. And they're all like, eh, why not? <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's not all right. <laughs> Well, if you ever need to contact us, um, you can reach us at Gloria. Um, <laughs> I have a plan for that, if we need it. Who? I have a way of bringing people onto the ship if I really needed to, if I can have a little bit of space for some plants. From, from that much distance? Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much well, any pretty distance. Much Wow. What kind of plant, Dahlia? Can we buy an orange tree? A tree? <laughs> <laughs> the cargo holds are big enough. That's true, we did have a T-Rex. We had two we had T-Rexes two T -Rexes in there. <laughs> yeah, but you need sunlight, though. Well, I can... I can figure oh, something I can out. Some <laughs> I mean, the ship is big. I can make a tree big enough to walk through. I mean... 
Right, Hattori? I showed you. He did. Um, as you saw from earlier, too, uh, the Ephatuma is somehow connected to the old world teleport system. So if you found somebody willing to, <laughs> to try putzing around with the old world teleporters... Uh, they really I mean, are going to be best friends with like, Tataka. Where's Kome? You don't know. She's doesn't partake in the battle and she hasn't really been seen since. She disappeared into the mists. Vicious. Let's try and hire Moege. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> hire her for what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just assistance. Just to hang out. <laughs> yeah, she she can work in the in the line switching room with that grumpy old lady. <laughs> it's just I, nice to have her around. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a token for uh, Packard. <laughs> I'm sure she politely turns you down, Gorm. <laughs> yeah. That's how that goes down. <laughs> what, you don't want to sail to the other side of the room with a crew you barely know? <laughs> That's most of what we're doing. He just means he liked he liked you. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Gorm shows love. <laughs> He said saying goodbye to friends that he'll know he'd never see again. He'll also offer jobs to the Damio as a courtesy. <laughs> the ones that the ones that don't suck. <laughs> okay, I know you're rulers of a distant nation, but for five gold a month yeah. you <laughs> I bet they laugh. They like oh, laughing at like Gorm. I remember thing. now. <laughs> hey, Ryan's here. Hey. We were just about to um, leave the Dragon Nation. I don't think we can hear Ryan. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hello? Now hey. we can. Hey, can you hear us? Hi. Are we still uh, in Apatoma? Barely. We're about to leave. Barely. Um, <laughs> Was there be anything you'd want to do before we left? Anything on the way out? <coughs> uh, what did you guys? Order? We can we can cover off anything you want to do. Yeah. Between sessions. So I just, don't know just, if there's anything important. Just as the bone baby's leaving, and like there's all the the <sighs> civilians and the collective Dimos waving you guys off, and then Nev comes running down the docks. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, that actually All happens canonically. Oh, I love it. Are we bringing Hattori with us, or are we leaving him? Uh, Hattori had to sadly decline to join you. He was... He got his honor back, so he was just staying help out in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, no, I don't got anything. I can't off my head. I mean, if you guys already said bye to... What was her name? Pink Dragonborn Lady? I can't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we brought. We just finished that. <laughs> oh, you just finished that? Great. I'm gonna have to listen back to this now. There's <laughs> much. <laughs> then all I all I do is just give her a hug and leave. <laughs> That's fine. Hattori watches the ship mm -hmm. depart from under a cherry blossom tree. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Dolly is trying to play on a cherry blossom tree on the deck. <laughs> Did you bring dirt? I have everything that I need. And he gives you like a thumbs up, and you see on his wrist that there is a red string wrapped around it that has like a little tassel on the bottom that he did not have before. I will be on my computer in just a moment. No rush. I don't know how to leave the call. <laughs> you click the red escape. button. I can't see the red button. Oh no, oh he's no. colorblind! <laughs> <laughs> I can only cure total blindness, you gotta gouge your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 
if Mav and Addy have a baby, will it be a changeling or a teethling? We've had this like conversation! <laughs> it was like, oh my god, hold on, what? <laughs> I think, I think our discussion was that it was still a changeling. But like, looked like a tiefling at first? I think it's it's like a Pokemon rules when you have like your your having your Pokemon bang a ditto to try to get a shiny. Just because it's out as whatever Pokemon. Just the ditto was there. And that was recorded for eternity. Congratulations. Don't that's not what how Pokemon works, okay? Oh no, I don't I don't I don't nope, that's not at all what I meant by that. Nope. That's just uh, the lamentation. <laughs> Don't act like you guys didn't do the chocobo breeding mini game. I actually only did it just enough to get the things that I needed to go over the mountains, and then I stopped because I was like, "Who had who's time for that?" <laughs> Meanwhile, I know someone who made an entire guide on how to do it and has done it multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Exposed. It's a very beautiful guide, though. It's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> you and your, like, single pixel shifts. <laughs> it was fascinating watching you make that, by the way. You know I'm only teasing out of love. <sighs> Anyway, you guys get back on the high seas. Is this an accordion cover? Yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is my favorite version. This is the best. Yeah, Roger Dodge was just hanging off at one of the cannons and accordioning it a little hard out. How many levels did Roger Dodger gain? I didn't level him. Oh. I, figure, I figure if if he gets played again, then he could be catched up to wherever he would be. That's true, yeah. I think it was like level 6 I gave you? Yeah, he started at level 6, so like, I guess technically he'd be 7 now, but like by the time maybe he's played again, maybe it'd be another level, who knows. And you guys are heading the, uh, the Ixitaken way, right? Yep. Right, it's three days to reach the edge of the map. And then it'll be a further four days just to get uh, Exitaka in sight. I'm gonna move you over there now. Oh my god, can we just go there? Because does Dahlia have find the path yet? I do! <laughs> oh shit, we can just go there! Bush! <laughs> what happens? I have a spell called find the path. Give me what does it do? It does cool things. Let me see which level it is because I can never remember because I haven't used it yet. Do do do. Pretty high. It's like fourth or fifth. Mm. Shortest, most direct physical routes to a specific location. Yep. I can't find it on my sheet. Oh, it is sixth level. Poink. What location are you talking about? Ixtaka. Because that's where we're going, oh, right? Where we're going. Is the object from that location, friend? <laughs> <laughs> I actually do, with my background, I get an object from my home, so... <laughs> I didn't even realize you needed that for that spell, but yeah, we got that. <laughs> Talia would have stuff from there anyway. <clears throat> this desk is making me mad. Move desk, what is underneath? Oh, that's why. It's... But yeah, it just basically makes it super easy to go somewhere. Why do I keep 
Um, so it's going to take you seven days to see Exitaka. On the fifth day, random encounter time. Okay. It's the uh, Kraken. God damn it! What? <laughs> of course it is. Of course Let's it fire is. Fire our laser. This is where he lives. He lives between Yafutoma and Exitaka. <laughs> Where nobody goes. Uh, now, as it stands, because you guys have the uh, fancy ship camouflage. Ryan, the Kraken showed up while you were gone. <laughs> Wait, excuse, excuse the fuck not, me? It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> zip a zip, 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 uh, because you guys have the... Uh, <laughs> The, cam the ship camouflage, there's a 50-50 shot that it could just miss you unless you want to engage it. No! No, yes. no right? We don't... Yes. I, no. I'm saying no. Dahlia's hanging over the edge of the ship trying to get a better look at it. <laughs> it's it's still very far in the distance. It's just this kind of like... Ah, oh, there's a word for it. Like a vortex? Rupture? Like a vortex. Oh, mirage? Like when something's just about to breach the surface of the water, but oh, the, water's, the water breaking. hasn't broken. Yeah, shit. It's, uh, just, it's just rising up around it. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. I don't so you're saying we do have this choice of not engaging? It's a 50-50 shot. 50 -50 shot oh. Let oh, God. We'll yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, let's see what happens if it if we avoid it or not. So if it's even numbered, uh, it'll figure you guys out and engage. If it's odd numbered, you've given it the slip. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> nope, it's still closing distance. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Um... So you'll have to make competing uh, helm checks to get away now. Um, and we don't, like, we're not in a position to try to, like, fire the cannon once before escaping, right? <laughs> so, you'd have to angle the ship towards it, by yeah. which point it would be closing in on <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Another time, let's try to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because, right. Like, Del we just got away from a giant monster. Dolly's like, are we running from this thing? Yes. Dahlia runs into the navigation and will be casting guidance on whoever is driving. Me. And basically, like, pointing out things like, no, navigation goes here, this and that. Like, giving you, like, hints and stuff on <laughs> engineering and navigation while he's doing it as the flavor for that. Turn at the port. No turn at the starboard. No back to port. <laughs> <laughs> right, Did everyone so fall off the ship? Awesome. <laughs> Adversity, I'll need a helm check. You got this. Ooh. So if you need it, you can roll the uh, d4 for the guidance. <coughs> yeah. it's included. Oh. Oh, it's included? Yeah, the guidance was awesome. included. Yeah, I, I don't know what other bonuses there were. So. And then <laughs> one more. To beat a 19. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. 29! Oh my god, I keep upping this stupid thing and you guys keep stripping away. Is that the to plus? To be fair, oh. I got a plus to my decks while I'm in the blue seas. That's true. And yes. now we're green. Right? We're... Yep, you now have uh, negative two dexterity plus two uh, constitution. Yeah. So, I, Jeff, do you have any idea how long how long it's been since we've seen the Kraken? I do not. Yeah, shit, it's been months it's... at least. It's been months. It's been quite a while. You might not have even had it while you've had this boat. I think this is yeah, the first time no, we've I... had it since we've had the boat. I think we really yes. Yeah, I thought we saw it on the way back from the. Tartus. Do we have the boat in Tartus? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, I thought we saw it on the way to Amenesser from there, but I, I could be completely I wrong. I could be wrong. 
I don't we have think recordings so. of that some of you really that's true yeah we'll figure it out later I think Kastari's <laughs> seen it once okay so, so then oh, that was Friend's was first time there. seeing it I think yeah mm -hmm. yeah I don't think Friend's ever seen it Friend looked slightly uh, horrified <laughs> I think it was Gorms too also, uh, I forgot to ask for a navigation check. Sorry. Somebody want to give me one now? If you have a proficient navigator, otherwise it's just an intelligence check. Do we have a navigator? I thought we did. We do not, but do we need one? Well, we I mean, I can do it, but... Dahlia's an engineer. Well, we already have yeah. two of those, so he we took over the navigator. Navigator. A no, well, Guppy's a navigator, but I'm not playing her, so I shouldn't roll as her. <laughs> like... I can I can do the navigation check. Please. Um, can I use guidance on myself? I don't know if the find the path helps with that since it's a spell. I'll give you advantage on it. Yeah. Uh, intelligence. Because it'll kind of help you. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> I have a plus three to that. You weren't guiding yourself. I was, but it's not going to do much. I did say that though. It could put it up above a ten. <laughs> well, if I can type, that would be great. It puts it at a ten. <laughs> at a ten. That's all you need. That's all you need. As long as the weather's fine, it's just decent. Maybe navigation's just cursed. I think so. <laughs> it is. What was Nauche <laughs> doing in this room? <laughs> this map's all out of order. <sighs> A friend is like trying to help. Again, one of the things they get in their background is poorly wrought maps from your homeland. So friend's like, right here! We're going here! <laughs> it's just totally... <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear something shatter in the background? No, maybe I'm nuts. <laughs> I might have dropped some stuff. Oh no. Do we roll extra HP or is that? So it's now the 21st of January as you come in sight of uh, Ixataka. Friend is at the front of the boat and their tail is going like all over the place. <laughs> oh my gosh, happy new year, you guys. Do you have any resolution? Don't die. That's a good one. Oh, don't get caught by the cops. It's always a good one. <laughs> well, if you don't potty, you don't really have to worry about that too much. But I get I'm money. trying to cut back on carbs. <laughs> and the plants, thank you? I don't know. Uh, do you guys want to go around the continent or pass through Holy Lake Titicaca? I was going to ask that question. <laughs> and I kind of want to go through the middle. But, like... Is it that would that shorten or make it longer to travel? I think it'll probably work out about the same. All right, then I would I would vote going by. Oh no, it's it's uh, three days longer if you go around. Okay, the middle. <laughs> we we have time to stop. Yes. If. Is there somewhere you want to stop? I... I don't even know where to go. I, I haven't been back in... decades. Over a decade. I'm sure we could sp spend a day somewhere. Like, we've been traveling... Wait. Was Ixataka the place that we couldn't get help with our ship? Yeah. It is the place where yeah. you cannot get help with your ship. Okay, so we could we could still stop for a day somewhere if you wanted to. 
where when you came before where where did you see my people huh um we saw some in the village up north and then there was another place where the king was at uh they maybe moved to the capital now if 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 they've got their new ruler in place and it's better now maybe then the capital seems to make the most sense we will be going by it i'd like to see the floating gigas well we'll be seeing that too maybe I want to see more dinosaurs. Alright then, I guess we're gonna pause and... Oops, 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 Vacation! Oops, small is tough? Is that how you say it? Oxmal is tough. I don't know how you say this. I, it's, it's a main <laughs> city name. I'm not gonna try that. Taking the sights for a moment. Jeff, what's the name of the lake again? Titicaca, Titicaca, where did it get its fame? Titicaca, Titicaca, it all comes from the name. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> and Does anyone besides Friend speak? The... Does anyone besides um, Friend also speak the language? Florida. Only the old language that the king oh, knew. What language is that? The... Uh, Orin. What? I thought that was the only language. No, they had their own language here. There's like here. common Ixitaken, oh, right. but they I use Orin that. as like Latin. Gotcha, I'm dumb. I have Ixitaken written on my sheet also. I just haven't looked at it in forever. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you make your way into the, the Lake Titicaca. How many times can we say the name of this <laughs> in one episode? Oh, no, it's a challenge. Take your bets. <laughs> what are we on, like four? Three. Are we including or ex excluding the song? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. That makes it like seven, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Your uh, your massive warship like slips into the lake, and you can see ahead of you, uh, just in the distance, there's several small fishing boats out on the lake that immediately just get out of the way, head for the beach, and they're just gone into the jungle. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do ascending to that pre sky, <laughs> <laughs> and say that we're here and we're in a ship that looks it's it's a Valon ship, but. It's us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe let the people know. They should know our insignia. Well, it's still probably scary. Hey, I can look at the little tiny flag, or I can look at the giant cannon. <laughs> <laughs> what a choice. Um, as you pass into the narrow parts of the lake, uh, along the, the cliff face, you can still see the slumbering Gigas Grendel. Uh, collapsed on the ground in sort of a weird heap. And even by now, grass is sort of growing over the, the back of its body. Yeah. And it's, mm -hmm. if you didn't know to look for it, it's slowly becoming a little more indistinguishable from the land. Oh, that's oh. nice. Wow. But there's nothing, but there's no one like around it or hanging out? No, not in, right around here. Uh, so Only adversity and glory um, I remember. I'm gonna climb around on it. Anyone wanna come with? Me! Why? Uh, I don't think we were stopping it at Grendel. I wanna get... <laughs> oh, I just... I wanna get within 60 feet of it. <laughs> Why? I wanna see what the hell it is. But why specifically that close? That sounds like a spell distance. What are you gonna Can do? Can we accommodate Gorm's 60 feet fetish? <laughs> God! Uh, <laughs> but, um... uh, 
Uh, give me a helm check. Oh god. <laughs> DC 15? Not there. Who's on helm? <laughs> Not again! <laughs> if Magnus isn't around, who's backup helmsman? I have decent. <laughs> I have decent dexterity, but if I roll just as well as I did before, we have the green moon right now, right? Yeah, yeah. so it's just a Constitution bonus. Yeah. If someone is doing shaky, they're gonna get an inspiration because Jesus. <laughs> friend will do it. This sure, friend will do it. <laughs> oh no, the cat's driving the bus. They're so excited <laughs> to be home. They will pilot the ship directly at the giant slumbering kaiju. <laughs> what am I rolling? <laughs> Who gave the cat a driver's license? Uh, just uh, a standard dexterity check. Cool. Boop. All right, with an inspiration, you said? Yes, D10. <laughs> it's DC 15. Yep. <laughs> Yay! Hey. <laughs> You're able to steer the ship narrowly within 60 feet of the creature. Yay. Do we still have that camera? What? Do we still have a camera lying around here? No, she has a camera. Oh, uh, we don't have any extra. Ah, oh, darn. Oh well. I'm gonna draw it. <laughs> oh wow, my browser. Just I off. I have the um, camera. Oh, you have a camera? Yeah, I got from. Right, I gave you not sure I gave it to me. I yet. too. Yeah, Dahlia takes pictures. Do you have to get some scenic pictures? Uh, Divine Sense doesn't get a ping. Interesting. I'm back. It is not Friend. a celestial fiend or undead. Friend is I have learned much in that I have learned nothing, but that still tells us something. <laughs> Friend is white knuckling the ship wheel, like waiting for adversity to return. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? What happened? I'm sorry, I had to deal with dogs. What? The cat's it's driving the ship. <laughs> oh. Uh, Gorm wanted to go get a super close up look at the Gigas. Do you want a picture in front of it? <sighs> yes! Sure. Group picture. I'm, I'm gonna in. give Gorm, uh, Gorm bunny ears. It's very easy. He's quite short. Versity will take the wheel from the cat. From the cat. <laughs> and Versity take the wheel. Everyone get into the group picture. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Steering the ship. <laughs> Yeah, everybody gets the fancy, fancy group picture. It's yeah. like, let's get a picture in front of the fish. Everyone say, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sad that I still I remember that get line. I with the dragon, but I get the feeling it would give the same result. I will add one group picture in front of the mossy Grendel to my sheet. Thank you for indulging me. Sure. You're welcome. What? Who was in the picture? It was Gorm, Castalia. Knock in at the end. Friend. Anyone else? I ran into it. I want Roger Dodger to photobomb. <laughs> Roger Dodger. Mev. Glory, get in on this silliness. Um, I don't. Uh, is friend waves Gloria over enthusiastically. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Was I getting in on it? I guess she did. If there was that much fanfare about it. Okay. Should she lay down on the ground like breakfast clubs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, everyone except Addy. And Dahlia. <laughs> And Dahlia, yeah. Because Dahlia's taking the picture. Taking the picture, yeah. Can't you put it on a timer? <laughs> I don't think it's that sophisticated yet here. That's fine. Just put it on the back. Be like, 
Dahlia and yeah, Addie yeah. was driving, so you guys didn't crash. <laughs> you can do it as a weird selfie group. Yeah, picture. Dahlia can make a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Just minor yeah. illusions himself into the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings into the question, can magic be photographed? Yeah. Or does the illusion not show up on the picture? It probably have like a weird aura to it. Spooky say. ghost, Dahlia. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. Can Victorian someone mi- ghost photography, man? <laughs> Can someone minor illusion Dahlia in? I don't think he actually has that spell. Yeah, <laughs> turn into Dahlia, and then no. you no. and Dahlia will be in there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, this is great. Yeah, Mev will disguise herself as Dahlia. No. I'll disguise myself as Mev. <laughs> no, I don't want Mev to look like me. I really don't. There's only one of me. Ava. <laughs> Oh, boy. So, Fred, what did you want to do in the capital? Uh, I was hoping to find my family. Oh, God. (laughs) Delia. Yes? That's something you could help with, right? I can scry if you have something of this. I... Don't. All right. Unless you can use me. Um. <laughs> I could try if you give me a really good description, maybe. Uh. Oh God! Did I fucking write down what they look like? <laughs> uh. <laughs> they are, okay. they are cats. <laughs> If we're, we may be both a little unprepared for that subplot yeah. right now. So we so just we... wouldn't find them. Yeah, I don't think it would. Yeah, I assume the spry wouldn't fucking work because. Oh. Uh-huh. You've never met them or seen yeah. them. And... Yeah. Next time. When if. If we are stomping, I could at least ask around. Do some old-fashioned investigating. I have friends in low places. (laughs) I have friends in the trees. So there, so there. (laughs) You hit above, I'll hit below. (laughs) That seems kind of unfair. It's not a contest, children. I said it was. I'm helping. I'm a stranger here, and I don't speak the language, so I'd like friend to hand me, to, to write me a note that says, if lost, return to this po- this person in the <laughs> native tongue, so we can hand it to people when he gets lost. Is there a written language here? Yes. All right, I'll do that. I have one of those notes if, as well. If lost, return to friend of the lonesome. Uh, yeah, I will write as many of those notes as are required, and I'll put a little craftily drawn version of our flag on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have ship stationary yet? Have we commissioned that from the pirate captains? <laughs> no, but you totally should, because that sounds awesome. We totally should. From... from the desk of Captain Gloria Bellamy. <laughs> I was just about to say that, only. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Did I get the last name right? Am I an idiot? No, that's right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I, was it's on, I was trying it's to look it up because I was scared. <laughs> after her. Yeah. You think I'm looking like directly at the maps going, hmm? <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's a huge word before I can see it. I'm... I kind of like to stare at my character sheet for most of the session. <laughs> Going, what the fuck do I do with all these spells? <laughs> Unlimited power! <laughs> itty bitty living space? Itty bitty. Itty bitty sheep. I mean, he lives in the crow's nest. <laughs> Did we put a tarp up there for you yet? Why no one has done anything. It's fine. <laughs> it's a shrine up there. Or tropical it, climate. It's just- he doesn't really use it for anything now that he has the meditation room. 
Nope. In fact, he probably would have just moved to the meditation room by now. Dahlia was, when he joined the ship, was not explicitly said that he could have one of the officers' tar- quarters, so he took up residence in the in the um, crow's nest. Oh. So that is where he has <laughs> been living. Gorm is sharing the crystal room with a lobster now. <laughs> it's just then. It's just in there. That's fine. Is it Seymour or Seymour too? It's Seymour. Seymour Two is uh, a little newer, so Seymour Two is Guppy's current uh, mobility assistance device. Speed. <laughs> OG. OG. Seymour Two, the visioning. It's it's, an, it's a mad lobster. Well, Guppy just comes out with a new Seymour every year. <laughs> oh no! It's Guppy <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Guys, you have to kill Oh, it. wow, no, this one has three eyes. <laughs> I don't think that she would be Apple. I think she would be Anemone. <laughs> Jesus. Sea cucumber. That dude with the light bulb on his head is the Steve Jobs of this universe. That's true. <laughs> true. Oh, I gotta bring that guy back into the plot at some point. And it's gonna We're be just good. gonna yes. harass him again. Oh, no. he, he needs to have gotten around his weakness, like with earmuffs or something. He, he just a like a quiet anymore. mantra, sticks and stones may break His my bones. Is in the room cheering him on. <laughs> oh my God. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but your words will never hurt me. Oh, Except for that so one time. Mean. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the machine gun fire. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the moment I most regret us not recording. And then, yeah. and then someone uses dissonant whispers inside his helmet. <laughs> Oh. Now, is that is it glass or would it pop if Fran touched it? <laughs> we will we will face that. <laughs> that sounds like a science experiment. We're already planning to ruin this guy's yeah. day. Uh, I feel <laughs> bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, were we gonna stay in Ixtaca for a day? Is there fun poisons we can collect? Yes, I want poison. <laughs> All sorts. This place is. I want poison. Just see dinosaurs. <gasps> yeah, let's go. <gasps> yes. I can I mean, find. Is, or is this, is this leading to a situation where it's like it followed me home? Can I keep it? <laughs> it definitely would. The <laughs> question isn't this followed me home. Can I keep it? It's which one does it follow home? <laughs> Oh, Delia God. is an animal magnet. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's true, you have that ring. No, oh. it's great. You can hide the Triceratops in in the brig. It'll be good. <laughs> if you tell me that, like a little baby Carno follows us around with his little little arms just wiggling by its spines, like <laughs> Dolly will find um... egg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, this this is nothing. It's just a rock. <laughs> it would be even better if we found like a flying dinosaur egg. <laughs> Ooh, I could use one of those as a shape. Is the uh, priest the new de facto leader now that the king's dead? Well, I'm gonna come to that in a second yes. because uh, when you sent ahead to let him know that you guys were coming, so that when you do arrive at the city, uh, he is waiting for you at the docks. As long as a small party of guards. No. Okay. <laughs> as you disembark, uh, he turns, uh, presenting his majesty, the new king of Ixataka. Oh. And all the guards shot. bow. <laughs> Did you pop the you pop info? Something? Yes. Nope. Because, I mean, I, I, know, I know who it is, but I didn't see it. Nothing has showed up on my screen. Something. It's the Dragonborn slave. He's not pop. Um, oh, there we go. Yay! Go, Karg! Karg? Yeah. Oh. Somebody knew this. <laughs> I don't remember who, though. I, I don't remember this. If I did, I, I don't recall. Recall? I knew it so. Go be looking. Do you remember the dragonborn who was held captive by the hags? Magnus? 
Yeah, I remember. I remember him. I just didn't know that he became king. I, Gloria told you that. <laughs> Did I? I'm sorry. I've. I don't. I've had. <laughs> as you're pondering, like, wait, I didn't remember. wait, how can I remember? Uh, as soon as like he sees you guys, uh, adversity, Gloria, and Felissa just get like scooped up into like this big, massive bear hug. Ah, my friends, you've come back. Uh, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> just like me and Queen. You, you know the king of this land? Uh, we helped him. Uh, when we were here last time. That's cool. That's cool. He's a big boy. <laughs> and you brought new friends. Who are yeah. all you lot? Are you my dad? <laughs> are you my dad? Go ahead, everyone, and introduce yourselves in an orderly fashion. <laughs> yeah. One at a time. Whenever we ever been orderly. <clears throat> no, it's, it, we, we get to the introductions pretty fast, though. <laughs> I am Gorm Markson. Hi, I'm Castalia. Are you my dad? <laughs> oh, yeah. If you so desire, I can make it so. I'm king! It's great! <laughs> How has that been treating you, being king? Better than you think. Uh, it turns out a lot of you had to do is uh, just smash Valowins, and people love you. That's fair. That, that makes sense. I'm really good at that. Have you had any, uh... Any more problems with the Valowins lately? Nothing we can't... Handle for now. It seems to be hesitating on that one a bit, like... They've mostly left of their own accord. Inside check. Are there... Pockets of holdouts or something? He seems to be telling the truth about that one. Hmm. They have a few ports that they are still using, but fewer by every by day. That's good. Is are they places like to the north or south that we should avoid, or or places mm. in which you wish us to intervene? No, no, no. We've asked far too much of you already. But he does, like, if you give him, like, a map, he'll point out a few spots that probably are being patrolled. I mean, we could just, like, show up with our ship and they'd probably go with their tails running. something we want to take care of while we're here? I mean, we're in the neighborhood. I... Oh, is Moonstein Mine still a thing? Oh, yeah! It says liberated, but it still has a flag on there, so I'm not sure. The slaves got liberated, but it was still apparently inactive. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I was just curious, what was the official story of what happened to the previous game? Like... It's, it's a bizarre tale. Apparently there was some tiny Avenger that shot him. I never understood the story myself. And he moves over to the priest, and the priest is just trying not to make eye contact, just rubbing his face, and like, oh. <laughs> Gloria has, like, the most poker face right now. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Your Majesty, if I may, uh, I am friend to the lonesome of Clan Moonseeker. I obviously hail from Ixataka. Uh, it has been quite some time since I have last been on these shores. I was hoping you may perhaps have some information about the rest of Clan Moonseek. How have they fared under the occupation? 
Uh, he looks over his shoulder to Rhythm of Drums, who seems to know a little bit more about the matter specifically. And the tabaxi friend explains they've struggled, as we all have. The ones that are left are mostly to the north. In the mines, or...? Oh, no, in, in like, towards Horteca. Thank you. Uh, perhaps I will seek those I'm looking for there, if given the chance. Uh, there is also one other matter. Uh, we come presently from a distant land under the blue moon, who we shall say have been made known of Ixataka's presence. They are friends of us and enemies of Valua. So perhaps in the near future, you can look forward to new allies crossing the sea as we have done. Hmm. They both sort of nod more interestingly at that. Neither of them are in a position that they could really start turning away friends now. <laughs> Especially not this one. Hey. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> it's funny because friend's name is friend. Uh... <laughs> well, the best part is if friend gets put underneath a truth spell and someone asks, "Are you are you like friendly towards us?" They can just play like the okay. "I don't speak this language." I am friend, <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be a lie. <laughs> Is the um are these what what language are these guys speaking? Are they speaking common? Common Xataken or Orin if that's easier for you guys. Cool. Uh Dolly has no clue what's being said by anybody then. Yeah, none of you guys. Uh but you do tell they they're seem pretty happy to be here and they prepared a feast in your honor. Mm. Dolly has just got like that face on that has like the the uh, it's like that anime face that I can't think of off the top of my head, but it's like, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, distracted chick in the background staring up at the sky going, one of these days we'll go somewhere that I can speak the language of the same people that are around me and I'll know what's going on. Until then, I'm just going to sit over here and be an animal. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even that Dahlia can shapeshift. This is just what she's daydreaming about when she gets really bored. <laughs> How does the city look like? Are repairs coming along? Sorry, I, I showed you guys the clip, but then I edited it. The city is looking better than perhaps when you last saw it. People are still like returning to the city, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Oh, okay. So now we feast. Woo! And get poisons. And, yeah. um... <laughs> poisons. And maybe the, the crew will understand not all of them going to the feast this time. <laughs> <laughs> um between the feast and the uh, exotic fruits that you guys take on board, morale has gone up five points as well. Woo! Try and get so much fucking fruit. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just a fruit stand in their room now. <laughs> Dahlia probably Dahlia. spends most of this trip as a bird. Just like a tiny bird perched on Friend's head. Friend's room is just fruits and pillows. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Because Dahlia's going to eat the fruit. What is this? A mango? <laughs> mango. A mango. I like that one better. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Are nice. there any unique things that only Itsutaka has to offer? 
as far as atmosphere. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, nothing that has like an interesting mechanical difference. Just you know, yeah. like uh, any New World fruit, mangoes, bananas, dragon fruit, ah, banana. They, they much like the bananas. Any yeah. certain kind of instruments. Drums, flutes, they're, they're pretty behind the times, comparatively speaking. I feel like hardcore. Do I become a dragon? Hmm? If I eat the Roger, dragon. Roger, do you have proficiency in anything other than recordings? Just asking. Uh, no, sir, I do not. But you do have proficiency in accordions? Yeah. I mean, that's great. That's great. <laughs> In fact, here's no. a little ditty right now. <laughs> oh, yay. Friend breaks out a pan flute and starts to accompany the accordion. <laughs> I'm gonna break out my violin. Dahlia peeps in rhythm. So just like above everything is just like cheep, 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 cheep. Because he can't play instruments or sing. So he is being a bird. Oh my god, guys! Just impromptu <laughs> Bart off. Sounds good. Jesus. When it doesn't matter, we're amazing. <laughs> we're awesome. <laughs> we're absolute shit. We are rocking out. He's off beat. <laughs> I mean, he's a bird right now. You can't really expect yeah. too much from him. Yeah, I know. I love it though. That was Roger it. Dodger's accordion. Give up stage. Film. I love how this is just just a jam session. With a bird peeping out of rhythm on top of Friend's head. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of fun accordion covers in here. <laughs> oh my god, I love thank so you. Much. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Gloria makes a toast during the feast. <laughs> to, to being at places that don't hate us and we left in a better condition than when we arrived. That is an unusually specific toast. Cheers. <laughs> Unfortunately, the introduction to the accordion soured relations between your two people. <laughs> that that is perfectly three. understandable. Under a hail of arrows. No. Hey, no those performance that. scores were pretty good. I promise go. it is an acquired taste. <laughs> you will come to like it in time. <laughs> so... Gorm will attempt to dance, but he has no rhythm, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Not he bad. can't be hey! any worse. I was thinking, like, has anyone seen The Jerk? Yeah. <laughs> just him at the beginning of the movie, just, like, dancing and clapping completely out of rhythm with everything. <laughs> I, hang on. I've got, I've got Gorm's dance for y'all. Just give me a sec. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cause that was a good roll, and it was Tetris. <laughs> so Gorm's just doing like the dishes. <laughs> well, he's doing one of these. Uh, is there, is it a kicky dance? One of these. God damn it! My fucking internet hates me. <laughs> is it a kicky dance? <laughs> yes. Yay! Red is boots the, kicky dance. Yes. <laughs> I love the red boots kicky dances. I know they have real names. But that's just more fun to say. <laughs> oh look, there's even accordion music in this video. Exactly. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Does um, Gloria have to run any interference between the priest and Castalia? What? Why? Because, because he likes ladies and interesting oh, yeah. ladies. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does she want to run interference? Well, if if there's a problem, she just keep an eye on them. <laughs> keep an eye on you, buddy. <laughs> if if friend discerns that there is anything happening there, they will also post up. I'm sure she can handle it herself. Because, like, uh, between your sweet dance moves, 
the town seems quite taken with you. Like, if anybody wants to spend the night with some random tabaxi, this is doable. <laughs> if anyone wants to get laid, do it now. Is anyone coming on to anyone? Dude, yeah, does anyone come on to anyone? <laughs> well, well the, the priest is going to take what he can get. Like, if, if <laughs> any of the ladies are like, hey... I'm I'm gonna laugh real hard because I'm just gonna put this out there because it makes me amused. Does he confuse Dahlia when Dahlia is in person form? <laughs> because he would be in a very rude awakening. No, he does not. All right. I think hey, we've established that he's actually got a surprisingly keen eye for women and can just like spot at like a twenty bases. Like wait a minute. <laughs> you you may look feminine, but there are things that are different. <laughs> it's not a trap. He advertises very clearly that he has no chest with his see-through shirt and open vest. Thank you very much. I just think it's fucking hilarious. Just like, ha, ah, it's a trap. Oh, I'm having flashbacks to watching Ranma one half. Oh God. <laughs> I remember that show. And the lecherous old man I grabbing think. butt and going, wait a minute. <laughs> See, my question is, does Castalia want to spend the night with the priest? Is no. Castalia going to spend the night with the king? What? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Guys, push the king. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Sleep with anyone oh, you no. want, but who knows? They may be your father. <laughs> That's a terrible fear. I'm I'm gonna go sit in the corner now. Surprise. He's never been a man. Surprise. Oh god, no. Uh. Anyone anywhere can be my father, <laughs> even if they're not of the same species, even if they've been on a continent for decades. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me make sure I, I say this though. This is not Dahlia saying that in character. This is Luna being an asshole. <laughs> oh man, I'm so oh sorry, God. you guys. I've been traumatized for Castalia. <laughs> <laughs> Castalia suddenly has an otherworldly urge to never do this. So sorry, you guys. <laughs> Castalia suddenly feels very gay. <laughs> As in happy? Absolutely, we're at a party. That's cool. There's Lady Tabaxi that are now with that. That's red. <laughs> I think she's good, though. <laughs> oh my Do gosh. we need to pick up that orc chick and bring her home to her girlfriend? See <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> she does not seem to be in town. <laughs> Remember that one time those two were in the same room together? <laughs> so <laughs> gay, <Yes>. you guys. <laughs> right? No, you don't understand. <laughs> they had domestic living happening, okay? <laughs> You know, the same series doesn't even need to be in play for me. <laughs> um, if there's any side conversations or anything you guys want to do, we can play that out between sessions, just because I'm trying to make this a shorter session. All right. Understandable. I got snottings. Uh, if not, what do you guys want to do next? Do Let's go. The next well, the next day we would head out to the next, um, well, I guess what path do we want to take? Yeah, do we want to check in on the Valuan places? I... Uh, fortress, get our, get our money. Dahlia, you would like to ruin some Valuin's day. Friend would love to do that. <laughs> they didn't get a chance to defend their country before. 
Oh, are they still running the mine? We don't... Do, do they know? Like, what Ask, they... Asking around, they do have some sort of operation going on there. It's uh, one of their, their main ports. So yeah. do you mean hitting like something like that? We gotta fuck that place up. <laughs> any any Valuans die that's on this island that shouldn't be here. Well, uh, that, that, that qualifies. All right. With your blessing, of course, Captain. The mine is closest. Uh, we could at least check that one out, I think. Send them running with I... their tails between their legs. Are we, like, long game, are we planning on going back through Arklo like we did the first time, or do we want to try and, like, steam across to <laughs> Cordigata? Because we got a cool ship now, but, like, if we're going up to Arklo, it's on the way anyway, so. Um, well, we, we didn't take any damage. Well, the ship, the ship sheet needs to be changed. Uh, Oh, we didn't, I got it. We we didn't okay. take any damage, so like I think we could just go across, and we'll have like a big bill when we get to I'm back. the place for travel. So I don't think we have to go up to Arkelo. We just but yeah. After after messing with the Lewins, uh, definitely go through Cordagata to get to the Jade Empire. Yeah. Cause um, Mana Do we shit. It's been so long since we've been in like the world. <laughs> is there like oh here's Bounty Board. Is there like anyone that we wanna or anyone left to go after in the near future? Uh except for maybe a vampire guy. If we're talking piratey side quests, um, the Rupee Larsa is the outstanding one that we had information about. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking anyone that might bring us back, or or even not even pirate stuff, but like anything that would uh, be a further reason to go back toward like. Saxony and Teuton and stuff. Do you need or, to go back there for some reason? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Is like, is there anything that we would want to go there for? Um, I think we've kind of exhausted all our side questy things for a yeah. little while. That guy owes us a favor up there. That's true. If we have a favor that we can think of. <laughs> Help us to get the Valoans out of Ixitaka? But Yeah, they could make it difficult. I think that's a bit too heavy of a favor. Oh. They could, like... Well, you know, they're not gonna... We're not asking them to sail in some gunships but or like, anything. But, like, they maybe, have to... Maybe. Do, like, an embargo situation there? Yeah, Valoa has to pass through their waters to get to Ixitaka conveniently so they could like make that annoying for them potentially well that that sounds like it'd be very close to antagonizing Valua oh maybe Valua needs an antagonist yeah is that a problem <laughs> yeah like I'm, I'm saying that might be a problem for a small country like Saxony oh yeah. well, can't hurt to ask if we want I'm to I'm saying that potentially hurts Saxony what I'm trying to also, they might not be able to avoid yeah. the problem. I mean, this is this is future future stuff. I'm just like, and it's it's just maybe a suggestion. there's no reason to go up there, but I'm just thinking if there is one, we have to think of it like before next week, <laughs> probably. I um, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of for them. Like, otherwise, no, just I keep can't... it in our back pocket until we need it. All the stuff that was up there was like blood hunter stuff, and Addy's brother showed up. <laughs> On the way to the dark rift, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I guess the the mine is the only thing currently in our horizons. 
So mine, <clears throat> Cordigata, Jade Empire. Drop off the princess, go save a crystal. Save the world. Save the world, yes. Possibly. Or destroy it, you know. Whatever ends up happening. Save the world. We're working uh, on the saving part. We're... See. Yeah. <clears throat> We're trying to save it. But we don't know if it actually will. And everyone so... goes quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at something. Uh, a days of travel brings you over to the Moonstone Mine. And you guys come around the coast prepared for battle, but as you approach, it's not flying the flag you're expecting. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, not that one. No, oh, that's wrong. Oh! It didn't pop? pop for me. Or is no, it on the map? On the map sorry. Oh, of course, I have to like oh. zoom way oh. in. I don't know why this reminds me of like Portugal right now. Weird. I don't like that. I mean, does it look like they have any of the locals in there or no? Just from looking out. Nope, it actually it seems like a pretty small encampment. Like not militarized. No. Did they? What did the the Ixitakans say was actually happening here? Like they just didn't they, want these people here, or were they actually like antagonistic in some way? The king was saying that there's still Valowins in this area. Oh, okay, but like not that. Well, didn't we I ask if we wanted them to go? If we they wanted us to go deal with the Valowins in the mines, and they said, "Yeah, sure." Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I get it. What? They may not know that they're not the Valuans. Yeah. They may not well, realize it's different. We may not want these people here anyway. That's true. <laughs> I mean, get out. <laughs> Go away. What are they doing as we approach? Uh, there's a handful of uh, people just gathering on the, the dock to see you guys coming in. Seems to be friendly waves. <laughs> All right, let's talk to these people next time. Uh, or who now? would like to? Who should be on the away team? Me. <laughs> this is when you get the Mass Effect choice, and there's not really a clear, good or right answer. <laughs> I mean, we can we can all just go as long as we don't think that. We can all go as long as we don't all talk, <laughs> I think. Yep. Dahlia's just gonna kind of chill out in the background right now, make a quick escape, escape, quick escape for everyone if needed. Friend is over Gloria's shoulder. Uh, you've said that on one of the, uh, the rowboats, come up to the docks, and there's about a dozen people uh, there to greet you. They're all, uh, apparently, uh, Leon's natives, just by their clothes and their hairstyles and beards. Like, they're very frilly, even though they're camping out. <laughs> well. Uh, the leader introduces a bonjour. I am Jacques. Welcome to our little island. Bonjour, Jacques. If you are seeking uh, any of the riches of the island here, fruits, vegetables, animals... Uh, we'd be happy to trade in turn for rifles or any sort of you can get help, really. Jacques, who told you that this was your island? <laughs> it's kind of a blink. No one, really. The Valorans left and we just kind of moved in. It's not a legal thing, I suppose. Yeah, the Valowans left because they were occupying this land that didn't belong to them. So you've come in and decided the land is yours now? Really, we just wanted to use the dock. For what purpose? Trading. 
with who? We uh, represent our company back in Lyons. What company? The uh, Fleur Trading Company. The Fleur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's a good training company. Oh, the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Dahlia just perked up in my head like flowers. <laughs> and then rivalries. Where for Weatherby, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> what? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> TPK. That's a black end session. <laughs> what? Uh, the locals <laughs> seem to think that you're occupying the Luin soldiers. Uh, we've been trying to uh, overcome the language barrier. I'm sure that's not working out for you. It has not been, no. I mean, do you have a book on the language or anything? No. I uh, fear the only people who were writing such books in the previous few years were the Valowins, and they weren't keen on sharing. Yeah, go I ahead can... here. I can let the king know that you're not Valowins if you're not planning on hurting anyone here or enslaving anyone and trading like fairly with people. Kind of shocked at the implication that he's going to enslave someone. Like, no, oh, no, 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 no. You've got to look out for them. <laughs> Gloria has the king on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you have that handles the animals? It didn't, like, I didn't think there would be someone that would be capable of handling the animals on this island very easily. Or nicely. <laughs> we only manage some of the smaller ones. Oh, that makes sense. He gestures back and there's like a few caged birds. Mm. Uh, Gloria will Blood, send yeah, the to the king that the people in the mines are just Leone's uh, traitors. They're not Valowin. Uh, like, they don't seem to be a big problem. It it takes him a little bit to get across that, like, wait, there's different types of... Wait. <laughs> I was right. Oh, really? You got more than one? All right. Weird. Wait, is he not from the mainland? Has he just been born here? I thought he got moved here from somewhere else. No, I don't think so. Oh, I didn't know he was born here. I don't I don't think that uh, anybody asked that, that little detail into his background. But apparently he, he doesn't seem to know anything about countries beyond. Is he from Yafutova? <laughs> you have Holy no shit. idea. <laughs> He's a dragonborn. <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, the Valowins weren't there, so maybe he's not from Yafutova. He wasn't... Well, he was taken over by hags. That's true. The primary races in... Uh, uh, Ixataka are half orcs and tabaxi, but there are smatterings like of other populations because at some point over the centuries somebody washed up here. Mm -hmm. So, Jock, <laughs> <laughs> your trader, do you have anything of interest? If you like fruits, rare minerals, wood, uh, delicious birds. Wood for sheep. <laughs> what, oh are, what are the rare minerals? Ah, and he uh, calls out to one of the other guys, brings something up, and they come out with this small chest. And he opens it up. And inside is this almost kind of like a 
it it looks silver under some lights, but in other lights it just becomes very rainbow colory. And he very proudly states, uh, Velorum. I believe it's a Valuan stepped it behind. The Valorum. Does anyone know what that is? <laughs> Do I know what that is? Anyone can give me an intelligence check. <laughs> no, Do I get anything for being a Valuan? No, this is like specifically like a minor thing. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Wait. No one's gonna get it. Uh, oh wait. wait. Do we all do nope. It? I have rolled twice tonight, <laughs> and both times has been a natural one. Isn't? It's just straight intelligence. Dahlia attempts to eat it. Hey, he's not dust to me. All right. If I'm everyone's teasing. joining I'm party, then I'll join. Yeah. Okay. That's about what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> Gloria alone is able to. Oh dang! To to figure that one. Out. <laughs> Gloria, does anyone know what it is? And everyone collectively, uh, and then Gloria. Oh wait, Thanks. I know what it is. <laughs> I forget things sometimes. <laughs> she's she's getting up there. Let's it's okay, there. morons. <laughs> this is uh, why I'm the captain. <laughs> Just wanted to remind all of you. Valorium is a. Uh, very light but ultra dense metal. It's used in the crafting of very fine swords as well as armors. And lobsters. But, and lobsters, potentially. There's oftentimes not an, a significant amount of it to be found to like justify like making like something large out of. What are the um, properties of things made out of it? Very light, very strong, very, very sharp. If you treat it as a blade. Mechanically, would it be the same, or it would it would be like a substantial plus bonus to whatever you have on, hmm. like super crazy if you were to find like a really top notch uh, smith. Um, and it's a rare material, right? Very much so. So, like, even if even if we didn't want to. If we couldn't find somebody to make something or didn't want to do that, we could maybe sell it for an even higher price. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, all right then. Uh, just, just, just a random question: How much uh, metal material does it take to create a Seymour? <laughs> oh. It it costs a thousand gold and seven days of work to make a Seymour. So whatever that translates to in fancy rainbow metal. <laughs> just a thought, just a... Just... <laughs> I think I just like the sentence, fancy rainbow metal. That is a pretty choice sentence. Oh, sweet. Oh, hey, it's not pie, right? It's bismuth. Bismuth, that's yeah. the one. Ding, ding, ding. No, it's super rare and magic. <laughs> Now put that on my gun. <laughs> I just don't think a you big can... chunk of raw metal. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can just put it on your gun. I'm sorry. <laughs> you like can, you like, can make a, it. <laughs> a really sharp gun. That <laughs> metal oh, it's so pretty. You can put it on your throwing stars. <gasps> I could put it on my throwing star. It's Dahlia's gonna kill the Kraken with a cr throwing star. <laughs> it's it's something that you would forge a weapon out of. It's not something you could add yeah. to a weapon. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you could throw it as like a rock, but okay, so <laughs> grind into a powder and salt it. Oh. So, Jacques, how much? I, like I said, I'm worried about pirate attacks and everything. I will trade you happily for any cannons you can spare. I have something to offer, I believe. I am a speaker of both of the native languages of this land. I could provide you with a small phrase book of helpful things for your future friendly trade with the natives. <laughs> That's... 
I... We've got a few phrases under our belt. We really need a translator full time. I also have this handy love potion. <laughs> One oh, of these hey, we want, really we want the natives to like us, not love us. <laughs> One of these I days, really someone will say yes, Castalia. Do we have any cannons that we can spare? That's some like... Because I thought they were all, like, fucking melded on. <laughs> I have literally no nope, idea. It's possible to like slip them out and like detach them. I guess we could just buy more. What's a cannon cost? It's a standard like if you're just dropping some of the rifled cannons, it would be where did I put the ship sheet? Where did I put this stuff? God damn it. <laughs> Who's running this game? <laughs> I just look over here and I just say, I just see insulted the logo. Oh. Good memories. Rifled cannons cost 300 gold each. Alright. You'd probably want at least two. Okay. That seems reasonable. <laughs> I have no idea how many are on my ship. Uh, so all the sub cannons that are on your ship are rifled guns. So you have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least. Holy. The we ones with the circle turrets. We can always replace those when we get back to. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, what that seems. Shall we go through with the trade? I think so, unless someone comes up with a moral reason I shouldn't do this. <laughs> nah, they, mm. they, they seem fine. Yeah. I named all the cannons. They are my friends. <laughs> Two cannons wouldn't be able to really be effective offensively. They, this is probably a defensive measure. Okay. I like just the, the box of rainbow bling. It's like a nice item for the treasure collection. <laughs> Never use it. It just sits there and collects dust, but it's pretty to look at. I mean, one, hey, maybe we might need it for something and we didn't know. I feel like if we can find someone we can do something with it i don't know what would be the we best bribe use. a dragon with it it's what we need to get all the gems to fuse together at the end it's the final component it's the <laughs> infinity it's the glue gauntlet. it's the infinity <laughs> gauntlet <laughs> i mean it's was got it, all the colors in it it seems like yeah was anybody else interested in anything on the rest of the menu of offer we didn't really... still what's the rest of the menu well. mostly fruits like uh natural elements it, it seems part like scientific expedition where they're capturing a few animals to send back for study. What kind of animals? Birds. Birds. Small they're, ones yeah. that are not like horrible are kind they... of birds that could break free and kill everyone. <laughs> are they... Do they happen to be do doing any do kind that? of studying or are they just eating the wildlife? I'm just curious. <laughs> like, Darwin's crew still ate everything they studied, so... Yeah, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Is there a giant turtle? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so sad. Hey, do we want to finally test the black moon stone? So not... <gasps> Are you testing it exactly? I mean... Let's throw it at him and hope it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking like... Cast spells at it and see what happens. Cast a spell while holding it, see what happens. That sounds like a someone who has spells thing. So. And uh, maybe not while we're trying to have trade negotiation thing. On my yeah, um, until recently we're probably going to be leaving pretty house. soon. If you see our ship explode and start to burn <laughs> down on the way out, just don't worry about it. I don't, I'm I don't sorry, think that... I don't know why I brought this up right now. I don't think that's a uh, Oh, yeah, um, don't tell thing. anyone anything we talked about. Oh god. <laughs> uh, we're the only people on this island. I I got nothing to talk to. Gloria speaks to Jock in 
the language that they share. <laughs> I forget what it's called all the time. The Mayonnaise. It's like mayonnaise, uh, but with like an L. Mayonnaise. Like exactly. Yeah. Hey, Sparks. Please ignore everything that they're saying. They are idiots. <laughs> It is a trait I'm used to among sailors. <laughs> Thank you. Dahlia he is bows. excluded from this because Wait. he hasn't said anything. Dahlia, stop trying to eat the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing that. Can I offer you a cigarette? <laughs> Go forward. <sighs> <laughs> no, no, I still have very fine ones in my stash. Merci, though. Murs the Kai. Does he have very fine ones in his stash? <laughs> well, you don't see his stash. But he seems to be quite confident that he has some very nice cigarettes. That tracks. <sighs> Captain, please. He's already begging for mercy. <laughs> oh, I guess I do have a question. Um, I gotta look at the us that tear for a second. Oh shit, that's right. We're back in the world. <laughs> um Jock, have you ever visited the the new tower in Orleans? No, I have not been. It was very popular. I do not care for crowds. Uh, anything else interesting going on in in the country? Oh, people just rebuilding, standard gossip. Nothing so bold as the revolution, but I sat to sit that one out myself. Any... you said the gossip's not interesting? No. Okay. I should insight check that. <laughs> oh. Poop. Dang. He seems pretty bored by it, yeah. All right. Well. Like, he, if you want, like, he'll give you, like, what he thought of, like, the last play that he saw there, but... <laughs> oh, that's that's fine. Uh, the acting was fine, but the, the script was so pretentious, I could not tolerate. Mm. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> well, thanks for not being Valowin, so we don't have to fight anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it is the least I could do. <laughs> Literally. I don't think I've spoken in a friendly way with someone from my mother country in a while, so it's nice. Oh I had... I just, like... I, I sent, um... Luna something. But like, has oh. Dahlia seen any water dinos? <laughs> like, while she's, while he's been like, under the water at all? Because that's something that I was like, whoa, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> water dinos exist. Do they exist here? It depends. They probably have seen them, but just depends on what they're... Ooh, I could be this one. That's a CR2. Well, these are both CR2. I could be both yeah, of these. You can be, you can be can both. Can Dahlia be the Loch Ness Monster? I mean, yeah, that's the Plesiosaurus, that. and I, uh, uh, Magu has sent me stats for that. Uh, I will send these to you, Jeff. Let it's me the, just... Yeah, it's the Plesiosaur. I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> I also sent you a, a new token. Yes, I saw. I'll get them that between sessions. Mm. I'm gonna add these to my uh uh my dino references. Okay, thanks. Bye. Mm. <laughs> Are we still in front of the trade guy? Yeah. You know you can be a Tyrannosaurus Rex too. I don't think I can. I think there's CR three or four. Cause I looked. Uh, oh wait, no, they're challenge eight. Oh no, that's the stuff that you can like. You, you can can't polymorph. change into. You can polymorph yeah. into it. That's what I was thinking. I think I have poly. Do I have polymorph? I must have polymorph. Yeah, you do. I just never use it because yeah. that's different. 
Yeah, yeah. That uses a Maybe spell slot. Maybe one of those things like, hold on, wait a minute, how do people become T-Rexes then? Yeah, um, they're moon that. druids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the answer. Well, that makes no sense. Then how do people become Tyrannosauruses? <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> people use it a lot, actually. <laughs> Gonna head back out then? Next up. Yes! I <laughs> do. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. I do as well. Where are we going from here? Are we? Go? I mean, do we want to try and test out the black moonstone here, and then just kind of I... what? Because this is kind of a little area where just in terms of uh, wrapping things up for the night, I'll probably guess guess to bounce any black moonstone stuff to the next episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to do yeah, it I here. Wanna... I don't want to do it here either. Yeah, please, please don't do it next to Taka. Okay. That's all I want to no. <laughs> know. Let's not fuck up the one purish place in this world. <laughs> They're still recovering, man. <laughs> We've got 18 days of ocean to do Black Moonstone shit in. <laughs> we opened up a portal to, like, the Nine Hells with the Black Moonstone on accident. Ooh. What the hell? Did I just start playing Descent into Avernius? <laughs> uh, it's a real load off not being the irresponsible one anymore <laughs> <laughs> I mean I saw you measuring things did you have some an opinion well, alright so <laughs> The two things are in opposite directions, so I figure either way we can only do one. One is to check out this following thing, and the other would be to go where friends' family supposedly might be. Um, the, uh, I don't know which one is a better idea or makes more sense. I think this one is much more out of the way, but it's also like... We know there's something there. We don't know that there's anything important here. <laughs> so, I don't know. At least anyone's call. Um. If you guys uh, choose to head back to civilization, I should point out, I can probably uh, pop up the gazetteer between sessions. Otherwise, like, yeah, we'll just pick up, uh, select the destination, we'll pick up there where you guys, at the start of the next session. I guess, alright. Um, no, we have to go to Cordigata either way, so, whatever. <laughs> uh, um, you know, we could always check out the Valoran stuff later. Um, I don't mind heading up to Horteca and then going to Cordigata. Okay. If you wanted to do that, it, it feels like something we wouldn't get back to. Like the other thing we might get back to. Yeah. That's like, it's so much a character driven thing. Friend hasn't been back here in 10 years. They don't know if their family's alive or dead. <laughs> so that's like the only reason we'd have to go there, but that's what Friend definitely wants to do. I'm on it. Friend also used the word family, and so that's the secret code word. <laughs> Get in your way. <laughs> so, I thought it was bananas. <laughs> no. It's the Gloria secret code word. Oh. So. It's a cheat code. It's, yeah. <laughs> Up it's like down, you, left, right. It's like the using. It's like using raptors in Cards Against Humanity or bees, depending on who we're talking to. Bees. Bees? Question mark. Bees? <laughs> Grandma, can I borrow 10,000 gold? It's for family. <laughs> <laughs> My one weakness. Yeah. All right. All right. Horteca, then. All right. That's not too far. 
No. And that's where we'll call things for tonight. Okay. Which is good, because I have to look up the names of my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like six months since I fucking wrote that backstory. Okay. <laughs> so, when you guys were talking about doing the Black Moon experimentation, I was jokingly going to put like, an explosion graphic on the map to show how much of the world was destroyed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but when you look up explosion in the Roll20 assets, you get some really crappy looking fire effects. And then, 3D made? <laughs> and there's like six different variants on this chick? You summoned another warlock! <laughs> no, I'm off roll 20, I didn't see- oh god. Oh Why? no, she must have seen a dead body. I Is don't that... know. <laughs> Is that what the patron looks like? <laughs> <laughs> Choose the form of your destruction. <laughs> anime maid girl. For some reason, that's the... that's tagged explosion. So maybe. Maybe it's <laughs> a bombshell. Ooh. Hey. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna stop the recording. <laughs> Bye YouTube. Here's, here's one with her with a machine gun. Does she have a gun. Bye YouTube. <laughs> Bye YouTube. Bye, everybody. <laughs>